Um, now, Simon, you agree that manufacturing in this country uh, will not stay the same, but you, you think that's a, a really good thing. Why is that? Well, I just think we're transitioning. We're transitioning from making things like cars, which are very obvious and, uh, and very visible, to a position where really we'll be moving into areas that are uh, high-tech uh, uh, manufacturing. I think that's probably where we're going as a country. Um, that's, a, that's a great thing because uh, high-tech manufacturing means uh, better paying jobs uh, and, and the reason for that is because you need uh, a high level of expertise, you need education and that's what Australian workers have to offer. I think that free trade's a great thing and I think that um, uh, the fact that there are countries that specialise in, for instance, auto manufacturing and those countries aren't Australia is okay. I don't think we, I think we should be fearful of the fact that um, there are industries that over time are going to change and over the course of the last 50 years those changes have meant that our living standards have increased. Nothing is going to change that. We're going to continue to increase our living standards mm. um, but only if we embrace free trade mm. and, and the sorts of policies that allow for um, some of those costs to come down. One of the big mistakes we've made, particularly in automotive manufacturing in Australia, is we've subsidised these industries that really can't sustainably be in Australia. I mean, we, 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 uh, we were never going to be the sort of economy that was going to be able to sustain that. And that has meant, unfortunately, that we see more people lose their jobs uh, at a, at, over a shorter period of time, like we have over the last couple of years, because there's been overinvestment mm -hmm. in, in industries that simply aren't going to survive in right. Australia. So that's very sad. Yeah, indeed. Uh, and it was very sad to see the pictures out of, the, uh, out of Ford yesterday. Uh, in particular, I noticed one man that was out the front that worked there and he was very emotional and, and, and he, he drove off with his Ford sign but in a Toyota. Um, does it also come down to supporting, um, supporting these brands, Nick, and getting behind Australian made? Look, of course, but I disagree fundamentally with, with Simon. Uh, free trade agreements, of course, uh, are important if they're done properly. We've been lousy negotiators in this country with various free trade agreements. Every one of them that we've signed in the past 10 years, our balance of trade has got worse. In other words, our trade deficits have increased. We've been schmucks when it's come to negotiating these things. And the problem with groups such as the IPA and, and the free trade Taliban lobby, I call them, is that they know the value, they know the price of everything but the value of nothing. Uh, in a sense that the value of a decent job of people working in their community or the multiplier effect of these manufacturing jobs cannot be understated. That's exactly what I'm so excited about though, Nick. I mean, th this, is, this is where we're moving. We're moving into a situation oh. where people are going to be paid more, not less. I'm really excited well, well, about that. We need to, we need to stop.